but it is a privilege for me today to be here to assist with this renovation and assisting all the brothers and uh, we are all here. we were happy with what we are doing today alhamdulillah mashallah onex musulman ko lasen onex bangali ebong non bangali ko lasen shobe mi liye kan amra volunteer kham khoram kharon masjid or enough for shanai it's very important for muslims of this country to understand the priority of restoring a place like this not only will it link us back to our heritage and understanding the role of muslims in this society traditionally but it will also be a means to building those bridges and making those vital and important links which we need today between ourselves as a Muslim community and the rest of society. This was the work of Sheikh Abdullah Quilliam and he was following in the footsteps of the Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him and we ask Allah to make us all a part of that. Absolutely delighted to be here at England's first mosque. I didn't know it was here in Liverpool, so it's a real privilege to be here to see just how it's been sensitively transformed and regenerated and revitalised. England's first mosque, it's wonderful. Highly recommend everybody in Liverpool to come and take a real look at this and see an insight into the British and Islamic traditions right here in our city centre. I'm really thrilled and privileged to have an insight into this excellent community project and I wish you all the very best with the project in the future. Uh, we're hoping to sort of work with uh, everyone who sort of attends the mosque and uh, works at the mosque. I think it's a fantastic scheme. It is a heritage centre. So I'd like to invite anyone who'd like to uh, come and uh, join us. We will be uh, visiting the mosque on uh, regular occasions. Especially from my point of view, being a community police officer is to support uh, local communities and to support um, the mosque. It's a, a symbol of Islam in what was a strictly secular uh, British Empire um, and I think it's important for all Muslims regardless of background. This is where the first mosque was founded in Britain and that, that puts it in an important role for the history of Britain. I hope that in, in a few years time every Liverpudlian will, will speak with pride of the Abdullah Quilliam Mosque here in Broome Terrace. It's important to Liverpool and the United Kingdom uh, because it is reputedly the oldest mosque in the United Kingdom, 1889. It's an important piece of historical heritage. Udbudonor potom azan ami ditam farsi igu dewar pore amar Englander sudho boshoro life or shopta kis khushir ekta din aiske amal lagi. Bishal building, evong kub shundor zagai kani kano apna rar shohju kita sara i mosjid agwa nee kub moshkil. Englander pola mosjid. I মসজিদ আমি ভলান্টারি হিসেবে কাম করিয়া ফলা জুমাত খুব ভালো লাগছে ও তো মানুষ হইছে নি মসজিদ আমরা বিশেষ ফরতাম পারছি না ও তো মানুষ যে হইবা আজকে মসজিদ নাও তো আমার অত্যন্ত ভালো লাগিছে কারণ দেখে মনে হচ্ছে এটা কসমোপলিটান মসজিদ কারণ এর ভিতরে ইউরোপিয়ান ইসলামিক সবকিছু ইনফ্লুয়েন্স আছে উই আর ফ্রম শ্রীলঙ্কান কমিউনিটি এন্ড উই ওয়ার ভলান্টিয়ারিং ইন দ্য ওপেনিং অফ দি ফার্স্ট মসক ইন ইউকে and uh, all the uh, community from Liverpool have got together and they have proved uh, how beautifully we open this uh, mosque. It's an important day for all Muslims because this is the uh, home of Islam in Great Britain, the birthplace of the Islamic community in Great Britain. From here uh, we have the first mosque, we have the first journalism, we have uh, a museum, a library, an orphanage in this building. So this was the centre of Islam in uh, the United Kingdom in Victorian times. I think today's event was quite extraordinary in fact. Uh, I hadn't really imagined what a big event it would be and, and also what uh, an event that everybody enjoyed and that everybody was glad to be a part of. Alhamdulillah, I'm really happy today uh, to have the first Juma uh, in this mosque for the past 106 years ago that the mosque has been here. But I hope that you'll all come and support it, as it's the first mosque in England and maybe the first masjid in Europe. I'm a student here and I've been helping out uh, building this mosque, um, doing various jobs with my two friends here. And we're really happy to come here and to pray in the first mosque. And it's a privilege to be the first people to pray after all these years, to pray as a group again. First mosque in UK and maybe in Europe. I would like to say I'm thrilled and overjoyed to see this mosque. I am born in Liverpool, my family came from Liverpool, but my grandparents came from the Lebanon. So my Liverpool heritage is here and my Lebanese heritage is also here. And I would like to say this is a celebration 
of my Liverpool world and now my Muslim world. Abdullah Pulliam is perhaps one of the most fascinating people in Britain and I'm so honoured to be here 106 years later and um, it's just it's given me so much privilege to be here I'm really proud to be here, especially as a British. Um, I was just really happy when I was praying the first Jummah, like after 106 years. It's definitely what Abdullah Kuliam would have wanted. Alhamdulillah, after all these years, after 106 years, um, the will of Allah, Almighty Allah, finally come true. Um, like the Imam said earlier on, the mosque has been pre uh, preserved all these years till today. Um, what the house of Allah is always going to be house of Allah. Whether we lock it up, whether we pray in there, uh, the angels will always come and, come and pray there. This is a very auspicious occasion and of course a great uh, factor in the heritage of British Muslims, something that really we need to perhaps give this message to people that Islam isn't about Pakistanis, Yemenis, Bangladeshis. This is Islam is a worldwide religion and this particular building behind me is testament to that, established by an English convert to Islam in the 19th century.